The most common pet that comes from down under is the sugar glider. Sugar gliders are becoming almost as popular as ferrets as pets. Yes, a sugar glider is a legal Australian invader in most states. These nocturnal animals are known for their ability to fly through the air. They're called sugar gliders because of a membrane that extends all the way from their wrists to their ankles, enabling them to fly and control their flight for great distances. And when Mia glided into the lives of Tracy and Abby, it was love at first sight. They got Mia a year ago, and they quickly began bonding. She was only about eight weeks old, and to get her to bond with us, we had to put her inside a little pouch zipped up under our clothes for about eight to 10 hours a day. I brought her to a lot of places, so she got used to my scent. Once Mia became comfortable, she became one of the family. She has as much personality as the dog and the cat. When not in her cage, Mia's favorite activities are hanging out and going out and of course, launching from the mantle. Yeah, good girl. And whether it's homework or housework, Mia likes to be with her family as much as they like to be with her. Now, an Australian invader you don't usually see in the house is a wallaby. Like their larger cousin, the kangaroo, their big feet and long tails make them happy hoppers. And miles away from their native outback, they've been known to have a unique role. The wallabies are becoming very popular as lawn mowers because they're such prolific grass eaters. But this is no typical lawn mower. And the bond between Alex and his wallaby, Indy, is truly one of a kind. He can be affectionate like a dog. He can be very cat-like and timid. For me, he's more like a child than anything. Alex became wild for wallabies in high school after spending a summer in Australia with a friend who had one. Three years ago, Alex picked up his seven-month-old wallaby. He named him Indy after Indiana Jones. And Alex and Indy have been having a great adventure ever since. They live in rural New York where wallabies are legal. Our house is really his house. People think of a wild animal in a house running around just destroying everything, and he's actually very careful and he's very quiet. And what does a wallaby do in the house? He has a, a routine that he likes to follow. A little toast in the morning, a little TV in the afternoon, a little snack, and relaxation. He's a very lazy animal. And in case you were wondering, yes, he's housebroken although maybe not in the best place. Indy is pad trained, but the pads are on the couch. But outside or in, Indy's favorite place is his custom made wallaby pouch. They never forget the feeling of safety that they felt in their mother's pouch. There you go. He gets strapped to my chest in his pouch, head sticking out, and you know, we can go anywhere. That's how Indy goes to vet visits. It's also how he relaxes. It really just is his favorite place. Now you might be wondering what effect Indy has on a bachelor's social life. I can't stay out all night. I can't really go out for drinks after work, but I wouldn't have it any other way. He gives back so much. It's truly amazing. <laughs>